हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैव एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल येट नाउ लेट्स सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू डिटरमाइन द कंपोनेंट्स एफ ई एंड एफ बी ऑफ द फोर किलोमीटर फोर्स अलॉन्ग द ओब्लिक एक्सिस ए एंड बी सो अबाउट द कम्पोनेंट्स यू पीपल मस्ट रिमेंबर दैट इफ वी एड the components by head to tail rule so they must give us the resultant force right so let's say that f b f a and f b are the components of this force so then if we add up f a and f b along the e and b axis so they must give us this uh, f vector right and the projections do not add up right so the there is a difference between the projection and the components right so the components always add up and they give us the resultant force right so now if we uh, first of all i will find all the angles right so we are given this 15 degree of this a axis with the x axis and this f force 4 kN force is making 40 degrees with the x axis so now we can find this angle right so this force f is making 40 minus 15 degrees with this a axis is right so we can say that this angle is 25 degree right so 45 40 minus 15 is 25 and now we can find the angle of this force f with this b axis is right let's say that this angle is theta so all these angles will be equal to 90 degrees right since this is 90 degrees so now as we can see that uh, 40 40 is the sum of both of these right so we can write that theta plus 40 plus 30 degrees this is equal to 90 degrees and when we find theta 90 minus 70 so then this is 20 degrees right so this means that this force f is making 25 degrees with the a axis and this force f is making 20 degrees with the b oblique axis right so we can write it that this angle is 20 degrees so now according to this we will add up the f a the components of this force along a and the component of this force along b by head to tail rule and they that must give us this 4 kN force vector right so now if i draw a force and let's say that this force is fa and this force is parallel to the a axis let's say right and then let's say that this is that fb component which is parallel to the b axis right let's say so then both of these must give us the Four kilonewton resultant force, right? So let's say that this is that F vector whose magnitude is four kilonewton, right? The F vector magnitude is given, which is four kilonewton, right? So let me write this as a magnitude, right? So this is four kilonewton. This is F A, and this is F B, right? Now, as we can see that if I draw a horizontal line here so this fa is making 15 degrees with the x axis is right this line is parallel to the x axis so this means that this angle is 15 degrees and now if i draw another horizontal line here so if this angle is 15 degrees so then this angle is also 15 degrees since both of these angles are alternate angles and as we can see that this b axis is is making how much angle right so this much angle is made by this b axis is with the x axis is right so we can find this angle right so this is 40 plus 20 so this means that this b axis is making 60 degrees with the x axis is or with the horizontal right so this means that this angle is 60 degrees and now if this angle is 60 degrees so then this whole angle is 180 degrees so this means that this angle is 120 degrees right now also we can see that this force f is making 25 degrees with the a axis and this force fa is parallel with the a axis right so this means that this angle is also 25 degrees right so this angle is 25 degrees and as a whole this angle will be 120 plus 15 degrees so we can write this whole angle is 120 plus 15 is 135 degrees and if this is 135 and if this is 25 so then this angle is how much and this angle is given as well the angle between fb and f force right so this is the b axis 
and this is the F, right? So this angle is 20 degree. If I extend the line of action of this 4 kilonewton force and if I extend the line of action of this, so we are given this angle, right? This is that force F and this is the B axis, so they are making 20 degrees. Right, so this angle is 20 degrees and if this is 20 degrees, so then this angle is also 20 degrees since both of these angles are vertical angles, right? And if this angle was not given, so then we will be, we can find this theta by finding the summation of all these angles, right? If this, if let's say if this theta was unknown, right? So then we can write that 25 plus 135 degree plus theta will always be equal to 180 degree since these are the angles of a triangle, right? So then theta is 180 minus 135 minus 25. So this is again that 20 degree angle, right? So this theta is 20 degrees and this is given, right? So we can write that this is 20 degrees. So now we can find the magnitude of this Fe and Fb by using the sine's law, right? So we can write that by using sine's law Fe divided by the sine of the opposite angle. So the opposite angle to Fe is 20 degrees. So we will write sine of 20 degrees and this will be equal to this 4 kilo Newton divided by the sine of the opposite angle, right? So sine of the opposite angle, so the opposite angle is 135 degrees. So Fa will be equal to 4 sine of 20 divided by sine of 135 degrees, right? So I will solve it a bit later. Now we can find Fb as well by using the sine's law. So Fb divided by the sine of the opposite angle. So the opposite angle to Fb is 25 degrees. So we will write sine of 25 degrees and this will be equal to again that 4 kilo Newton, right? So I will write 4 divided by sine of the opposite angle. So sine of the opposite angle is 135 degrees, right? Let me write it as sine 135 degrees. So this will give us Fb. Fb is equal to 4 sine of 25 degrees divided by sine of 135 degrees. Now when we solve this, so Fa component is 1.935 kN. This is the magnitude of the Fa component and Fb comes out to be 2.391 kN, right? Now in this problem, it is also uh, asked to determine the projections Pa and Pb of f onto the a and b axis right so now to find the projection it's very really easy right so what is the procedure the procedure is that you people have to draw a perpendicular from the head of the given vector to that axis on which you people want to find the projection right so what i will do i will draw a perpendicular from the head of this force f onto that b axis right so this is that perpendicular and this must be making 90 degrees with that axis, right? So now this will be the projection of this force along this B axis, right? So we can write that this is PB, right? And since this force F is making 20 degrees with this B axis, so this means that PB is equal to 4 cos of 20 degrees, right? And similarly, we will drop another perpendicular from this force F on this A axis, right? So let's say that this is the perpendicular, right? This is the perpendicular. So then we can say that this will be the projection of that force F on this A axis, right? So this will be PA. So again, this force F is making 25 degrees with this A axis. So we can write that PA is equal to 4 cos of 25 degrees. So PA magnitude is 3.759 kN and PB is 3.625 kN. So this is the solution of this particular problem.